Hi, I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm going to give you a quick video tour of the Barnes & Noble Nook eBook Reader. As you can see on the surface, the Nook has a lot in common with Amazon's Kindle. It features the same 6-inch e-ink screen as the Kindle and has a free AT&T 3G wireless connection for downloading eBooks over the air. But the Nook is different from the Kindle in a few small but important ways. First and foremost, the Nook has a separate color capacitive touch screen that allows you to navigate content and use a virtual keyboard for typing searches and annotations. That touch screen is similar to the screen that's found on the iPhone or iPod Touch, though this one isn't quite as responsive. Using the touch screen navigation pad does take some getting used to, particularly if you're used to using a touch screen phone like the iPhone. Your initial urge is to touch the ink part of the screen, but then you gradually get used to the concept of confining your touches to the screen at the bottom and the Nook logo that sits just above the screen. That Nook button serves as a home button that turns the color screen on when it's asleep. Also, the ability to browse through color thumbnail images of books and periodicals with a flick of your finger is appealing, but the cover flow feature isn't quite as smooth as Apple's. In terms of actual size, the Nook is smaller than the Kindle from top to bottom and side to side, but it's thicker and weighs slightly more. Like the Kindle, it has 2 gigabytes of built-in memory, but it also has a micro SD slot for adding up to an additional 16 gigabytes of memory. You can literally store tens of thousands of books on this thing. It's also worth noting that the battery is removable and replaceable. On top of its free AT&T 3G wireless connection, the Nook also packs in Wi-Fi connectivity it allows you to tap into a home network or one of the free hotspots in Barnes & Noble's brick and mortar stores. Another interesting feature Barnes & Noble is offering is ebook lending. While not all titles will be available for lending, you'll be able to lend out certain ebooks for free to friends and family for up to 14 days if they have a Nook or another compatible device for reading. The Nook doesn't have a built-in web browser or a text-to-speech option, but it will play back MP3 files and display various image files as wallpapers or screensavers. There are two small speakers at the bottom of the device, but you're better off listening to music through the headphones jack. As for ebook formats, the Nook supports both EPUB and PDB files, as well as PDF files. However, it currently doesn't read Word or text files, which is kind of a bummer. When reading an ebook, you can change the font, style, and size. And the Nook is actually the first ebook reader that is powered by Android. This is an Android 1.5 device, but right now there are no additional Android apps available for the Nook. It does feel a little bit sluggish at times. Uh, you do have to wait for a book to load. There's a little thing that says formatting when you do load a book, even if you've already read it. Another thing we should point out is that the battery life on this is just not as good as the Kindle. A lot of that has to do with that color LCD screen, and it definitely has a negative impact on battery life when you use it. Barnes & Noble says you can get between 7 and 10 days of battery life uh, if you have the wireless turned off. Um, we'd say that's a little bit generous. You can connect this to your computer via USB, and it also charges via USB. Beyond the color LCD, uh, the ability to lend books um, and also to be able to stream books while you're in a Barnes